Hey, Bibi. Say hi, Daddy. <laughs> What is she saying? Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for Air Gun, Gun Detectives. Detectives. <laughs>Welcome to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. I'm your host, JC. Today, we're going to take the mystery out of the Hassan Torpedo 150 Sniper. Uh, this one is in 25 caliber. This is actually a pretty neat rifle, but we're going to get into all the details on that. Hey, if you haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button down in the corner. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free, but it really helps support the channel. Also, if you have an opportunity, check out my website, www.airgundetectives.com. On that site, I've got various t-shirts. I've got some hats. I got my bipods, my generation two bipods there. And I also have some personal inventory that can end up there and it doesn't last long. I'm telling you, it goes quick. So anyway, let's get back to the subject on hand, our Hassan 150 sniper here. Yeah, this one's a little different. It's an under lever. This has an under lever cocking system with a separate bolt here. The barrel actually free floats here in the shroud. This is the barrel that actually moves forward and then you, once you load it, um, you bring it back and you lock this barrel down and I'll show you that when I'm shooting it. But uh, it's a, this is an under lever. It features the Vortex gas piston. So the way this cocks, obviously, is you, you take it loose from this point here. This just move that pin forward. This comes down and you cock it. Does not come with the bipod. I attach this to the lower cocking lever. But uh, you just cock this. It's got a bear trap on here, right here, that you'll push that button. And uh, so you can actually cock this without it being loaded. So you can go ahead and cock it. And then when you're done with the cocking mechanism, you set it up, you can actually then load your pellet in the breech here and then you bring your barrel back and just lock it down. Anyway, it's a pretty neat rifle. This uh, features the Quattro trigger. This is their two-stage trigger. It's got a synthetic stock with an adjustable cheek rest. This one does have fiber optic sights on it, the True Glow. So it's got the green in the back and then uh, we've got our, obviously, our red here in the front. Pretty neat rifle. Uh, it's got a safety in the back right here. so. It also comes with the uh, swivels on it, so if you want to put a sling on it, like you did, and this one actually came with the sling as well. So, kind of pretty cool setup. It's not a light rifle. This weighs 9.4 pounds. It's a little over, so it's a little over 9 pounds um, without a scope on it. The rifle itself is a long one. It's uh, over 48 inches. It's actually uh, 48.4 um, inches long. And this actually has a 13-inch barrel. And again, I said it's a free-floating barrel inside the shroud here. It's uh, pretty interesting, kind of the way that it's set up. So they're claiming this will shoot about 750 feet per second. So like anything else, we're going to go out and test it. And, uh, and then we'll obviously go through the whole process and come back and talk about it. So let's see how well it performs and move on to the next segment. All right, let's test out our Torpedo 150 Sniper here over the Chrono. Uh, we're going to start out with, we're going to use some H&N uh, field target trophies. These are a 20.06 grain. But then I'm going to tell you how well it did with another pellet. All right. So let's do five shots and average this out. Okay. Yeah, this has a little different setup here, obviously. And let's load our pellet in. All right. Let's see. Shot number one. Seven eighty four. And shot number two here. Seven eighty-seven. And shot number three. Okay. Seven eighty-two. Shot 
shot number four. Seven seventy three and one more. All right, and our final shot. Seven ninety two. Yeah, this thing is powerful. I mean, look at that foot pounds of energy. It really is. Okay, that was our H and N field target trophies. Okay, so another pellet they did well, I wanted to try out these new JTS pellets. They actually shoot really well. These averaged 725 feet per second and gave us 30 foot-pounds of energy. And that's out of a 25.39 grain pellet, so that's a good size pellet. I mean, when you can get 30 foot-pounds of energy out of any type of brake barrel under lever, you're doing really, really well. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Let's test out our 150 uh, sniper for some accuracy here. Uh, what we're going to use today, I've been liking these JTS dead center 25 calibers. This is a 25.39 caliber pellet. And it was putting out close to 30 foot-pounds of energy on this rifle. But let's see how accurate these are. Um, we're going to go ahead and shoot at our 4-inch splatter burst. Uh, these impact points are really highlighted. Um, as you know, you've probably seen them before. But I'll leave you a link. If you guys want to get some of these, they're really fun to shoot because you can see them from a distance. They're great. But we're at a usual 20 yards. Go ahead and take a quick look. So we're going to just shoot five shots. Um, we're looking for grouping here. Nothing beyond that. And uh, we'll go from there. So, and as you guys see, the, these rifles are a little bit different as far as the cocking and loading. But I'll cover that closer for you later. All right. And you see, I got away with putting a little bipod clamp on this lower arm because it's not on the barrel itself. All right, gotta open up our breech here. Put a pellet in. It's a snug little fit. All right, let's see what we can do here. All right. Shot number one. All righty. And shot number two. And it be shot number four. And finally. Number five. There you go. Yeah, that is one heck of a group if I do say so myself. Yeah, not too shabby. Plenty of power out of this too. Alright, let's move on to the next segment. Okay, let's test the trigger on our torpedo here. I did fine tune it a little bit here. But uh, let's just show you how well this uh, performs. These uh, Quattro triggers, very complicated, but once you know them, 
and you polish them and you do a few things to them, they're actually a really nice trigger. Okay, so we got our Lyman trigger gauge here. Let me reset this. Okay, let's see how well we do here. Two pounds, 15 ounces. Two pounds, 15 ounces. So under a three pound trigger. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty nice trigger. I do have to say so myself. Very smooth shooter. Okay, let's move on to the next segment. My favorite portion, as you guys know, is the plinking portion of the reviews. So we're going to try our 150 here out at about 40 yards. We're going to go ahead and use these uh, JTS pellets once again, the 25 grain pellet. They do uh, actually quite well. I'm pretty impressed with them. Anyway, we're usual 40 yards out. Go take a quick look. Uh, got a couple of steel rams there and some cans. We're going to see if we can knock those down. We're kind of trying to replicate hunting here, so we'll see how we'll do from 40 yards. All right. Start with the ram. This thing does hit hard, I have to tell you. It does. Like I said, at this distance with the heavier pellet, we're getting some good foot-pounds of energy downrange. All right. Well, we got two for one. The vibration must have knocked the other ram down. But anyway, let's hit a can. can up there. Gotta take out. Okay. Alright, that's a hit and we got one more. You guys can load this however you feel comfortable. Um, just on camera I like to keep it down like this so you guys can see so it's not up in the air, but you can load it that way too. Alright. And let's see if we can hit the other one. Yeah, and it punches right through those at this distance. Yeah, this has tremendous power. Like I said, we're we're almost putting out about 30 foot pounds of energy. So anytime you get a brake bear or under lever that can do that, you're achieving something. You definitely are. Alright, let's move on to the next segment and wrap it up. Alright, let's wrap this up with our conclusion here. I'd say our Torpedo 150, I think it performed really, really well, if you think about it. But like anything else in all the air guns I reviewed, let's talk about the negatives first. What do you guys think my number one negative in this rifle is? I'll give you a second to think about it. Okay, your second's up. The Vortex Gas Piston. So I've had this rifle for a few years. And within 24 months, the gas piston failed on it. I go out to... Use it, go to cock it, and nothing. The, the lower lever just falls loose because there's no pressure in the piston. So this is probably somewhere between my 10th or 12th, I've lost count now, of how many Vortex pistons that I've replaced. Now I do have to say, the upgraded, I, I've purchased them directly from uh, Hudson, and the upgraded pistons so far, they've all been lasting. So hopefully there's an improvement there and we're not gonna have some issues. So the Vortex piston, as you guys know, that was just kind of the Achilles heel on these, in my opinion. When I replaced the piston, I decided to do a full tune on this since I had it apart anywhere. So I did a complete hone. I went through, I polished the trigger, um, got that all set up. So this is quite the shooter now. It really is. It's a, it's a smooth shooter. So, the, you know, when you have it down that far, you might as well take care of business and take care of the other stuff. So more positives on this thing. Uh, I'm getting close to 30 foot-pounds of energy out of this, and this is a non-PCP. Once again, it's just a it's an under lever with the uh, with the updated Vortex piston in my tune job, and I'm getting 30 foot-pounds of energy, and we're also getting some really good accuracy. You guys saw the accuracy that we got. We demoed it, and then even out to the 40 yards when we were plinking, uh, we were pretty precise on that as well. So, this is a good hunter, with the exception of the weight. 
Now, again, I'm going to tell you, it doesn't come with any bipods or this setup. So basically, because it was an under lever, I put a, just a clamp on the lower part of this uh, cocking arm because it's just basically a steel bar. And that seemed to work out pretty good. It is a long gun, though. I have to tell you, it is a very long gun. But with the polished trigger, the quattro triggers, they're really good triggers. It doesn't take a whole lot of work to get them to perform really, really well. So I do like, um, as you see, I've got an uh, optic on here um, when we did our shooting on it. But the option of this is being able to shoot open sights or the optics are pretty, um, pretty nice. And this has the Hassan's uh, rail that you can either accommodate an 11 millimeter or you can do your uh, Picatinny style um, uh, scope rings. So either one, so it'll fit either one, which is kind of neat. This is a very unique loading system, it really is. I like the way that you can just cock it, and then after you're done with that, you can go ahead and put your pellet in there. It's just kind of unique. And this free-floating barrel, it actually works in here. It just sets in the shroud, and it comes back. It locks in that same position. So you saw we got some pretty good uh, accuracy at it. So it is kind of a unique gun, it really is. So overall, it's really fun to shoot, and, uh, and it performed really, really well. Um, how would I rate this gun? Well, honestly, it's Achilles heel is that Vortex piston, the stock piston, and I had to replace it. So, you know, the gun now, I would probably rate it higher if it was just like this, but it's fully tuned. So realistically, out of the box, it's going to be somewhere between four and four and a half stars. And for the uniqueness of it, the way it loads, I'm going to give it four and a half stars. So we're going to give this one four and a half stars. That's just the way it's going to go. So overall, I like it because of the uniqueness, because um, I've never seen another under lever with this whole type of single bolt loading system, what have you. So like I said, it's a fun gun and it would definitely be worth adding to your collection, especially if you're one of those guys that like to hunt, because you are getting some good foot pounds of energy out of this one. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Air Gun Detectives. Don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Until next time, I hope you and your family are getting plenty of shooting in and uh, everybody's doing good. So take care and God bless.